expired. Mr. Reichert is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, doctor, thank you for uh, being here today. I'm, I'm not a doctor either, um, but I've been a patient many times. So I'm looking at the system as most Americans would from that side of the uh, uh, issue. Um, we, we had a, I'm disappointed too, as, as Mr. Davis has uh, um, stated in, in, in the way that you're answering or not answering some of the questions. So I hope that you, you understand our, our frustration here with, with some of your responses. Uh, you know, most Americans are just trying to figure this thing out. They need your help to do that. A lot of people are listening today. Uh, this is streamed live, C-SPAN. Um, so, so there'll be a lot of Americans uh, listening to your words. You, you obviously support the Affordable Health, health Care Act. Um, we had a witness in a couple of weeks ago who, whose name is Austin Goolsby. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know him? Yes. The chairman of the, the Council of uh, Economic uh, Advisory. Uh, he, he said that the health care bill uh, would increase access, decrease costs, increase benefits, reduce the deficit, and people would be allowed to keep their health care uh, if they wanted to. Would you agree with those statements? Does the bill accomplish those things? It appears to be yes. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there anything at all in the bill that you would change? We're going to learn over time. That's a complex but, question. But you've had some time to... to to read the bill and look at the bill, is there anything that stands out in your mind that you would change? Um, I'm, what don't you like about the bill, or is it all good? It's a very complicated bill, sir. Is there anything it's about hard. the bill you don't like? You know, right now I'm implementing the bill. No, no is, it, is there is yes or no, I guess, because I'm not going to get a straight answer. Is there anything about the bill that you would change? Um, yes, no. Over time, we're going to learn about this bill, sir, and I can tell you, I from what you know today, from what you know today, from what you know today, sir, is there anything that you would change? There, there's in the whole. Sir, there's there, soon. Can you tell me when the two hundred and six billion dollar cuts to Medicare Advantage begin? The, well, right now the payments are stabilized. When, when, did, when did the two hundred and six billion dollar cuts begin? What's the what's the the target date? The set date? Minor what year? The cuts are phased in over time. And when do they begin? It depends on the plan. And what year does you know. what What year do the cuts begin? Can because you give me a year? It, it's variable depending on the plan and the area. So 2017, 206 billion dollars in cuts will begin to take place. Your actuaries say, as Mr. Davis has asked you, that there would be 7.4 million seniors then leaving that system, losing their health care. So the statement that you agreed with earlier, that Mr. Goolsby uh, also agreed with, you can keep your health care if you want to, isn't a true statement. Even the President of the United States has said in a public forum, which I was present at, uh, he said there may have been some, in regard to the statement that you can keep your health care plan if you like it, he said there may have been some language stuck into the bill that runs contrary to that premise. Now, is, if there is language in the bill that runs contrary to this president, present uh, premise, and according to the president it does, would you change that language? Um, sir, Medicare advance. Would you change the language? If there's language in the bill, as the president says there is, that got stuck into the bill, would you change the language that prohibits people from keeping the health care they like. People in Medicare. Would you change the language, sir, if there's language in the bill? That's a yes or no question. I if there's language that. in the bill, yes or no? I'd love to be able to answer your question, yes you, or no. I if there's language in the bill, sir, why can't you answer the question? It's a simple question. If there's language in the bill that says, as the President has said, that runs contrary to the promise that you can keep your health care if you like it, why would you not say yes to that question, that I will change that language? Because we believe, and we have said over and over again, if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. Why would you not change that Congress language? To me, Why would you not change that language, sir? Answer sir, the question. Asking, 
you're asking a hypothetical question, sir. What I can tell you is our, jo our job. No, I'm, I'm not at, No, sir, I'm not. The President of the United States has made this statement. There's language Mr. in the Mr. Chairman, I need to object. Well, I sir, I, 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 this is my, this if is my time, Mr. Levin. If the, if the gentleman from Washington State would suspend, 